everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Maddie and if you're new here then welcome to my channel if you've been here then welcome back we are starting up a another vlog stay-at-home mom with a two-year-old and who's newly pregnant well actually I've been pregnant now for a few months oh my fridge is going off I've been pregnant now for a few months but you know it's new to the interwebs I guess I should say um which is just so exciting. So uh, it's nice not to have to hide it. I can just show what I wanna show now. Um, but not that I even have like a big following. I don't even need to give this disclaimer, but I know I don't have a big following, but I haven't, I didn't like, you know, it wasn't out there, it wasn't in the open. So it's really exciting. Um, I feel like I can just be my, my true self and talk about the hardships and just everything. So anyways. Long story short, welcome back. And we are starting up a few days in my life as a stay-at-home mom with a two-year-old, pregnant, the whole thing. And um, we're I'm just about to make some popcorn. And then we're just gonna hang, Jeremy will be off work, and we'll get on with the rest of our evening as a family. What was your favorite thing we did today? The day's not over and it's a nice sunny day. It's not dark anymore. Mm -mm. It's not dark out, and Dada's gonna be off work. And I wanna go on a walk. You wanna go on a walk? Pack, pack, pack. Ow! I'm spitting popcorn out. Spitting popcorn out? This one's not hot. You want popcorn out, Mama? I did. So, ah. Sissy, what was your favorite thing we did today? Did you like that we made cookies? Did you like that we did chalk? Good that's nice for you. Oh, thank you. I love 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 you. Nosy. It is my job to tell you I love you. No, it's not your job. It's your job? It's not. Sis, show me the shoes. Stand up. Stomp. Show them off. Oh, yeah. That's right. Show them off. Sis. Carter. He pose. Ooh. You got the blue sweatshirt. And then... Did you draw on yourself? Let me see your eyes. Show me. <laughs> Somebody decided to draw with blue marker. Huh? Mm -hmm. But we're not supposed to do that, huh? Mm, that makes you mad. <laughs> it makes mama mad? Okay. No. But we just have to wash it off, huh? Okay. Okay, let's go. Out the door. <laughs> Family walk time. I'm coming. What the heck? I'm coming. Bye bye, baby pumpkin. Bye bye, baby pumpkin. Yeah. Bye bye, baby. Yeah. What I hid in the last video was the little baby pumpkin. We love our baby. <laughs> Come on, let's go. A real baby in our bed. That's right. Mm -hmm. What's moving? It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. <laughs> adopt. Just got adopt. It stopped. <laughs> you can touch him. He's fuzzy. Be so gentle. <laughs> Is that silly? <laughs> Soft. Yeah, Soft. Soft. <laughs> it's going to turn into a butterfly. I'm going to turn on a butterfly. Let's go! Here I am! Here you are! It's him!
Carter down. We as in Jeremy and I, obviously. And I was just gonna show you what I made for dinner because we've been doing more instant pot meals or like, you know, crock pot, instant pot, just where it's like a set it and forget it. Just being pregnant, now that I can say it out loud, I, I will not keep saying that. But anyways, now that I'm pregnant, it's really nice to have some easy meals where you're not like slaving away at the stovetop cooking, stirring, doing all the things. I want to have minimal meals where we just throw it all into a pot. Obviously they're not as good as like, you know, we did a beef stroganoff earlier this week. This is like a chicken and rice. So you get what you get. Um, it's not like this gourmet meal, but it just is so nice. It saves time and I don't have to expend so much energy on cooking. So anyways, I was gonna show you what we made and then we're gonna just kind of wind down for the evening. Here she is. It honestly looks like stir fry or like um fried rice. <laughs> um, it's not, it more so has the flavor of like chicken pot pie in rice form, which is perfect. Um, so I just did frozen veggie bag, four cups chicken broth, um, like a pound of chicken, and two cups rice put it all in for 10 minutes and it was good to go and here we are so we're gonna eat and then hang out can you tell me what you're eating what do you have toasty mm. toasty eggies and you ate what was right here mm -mm. orange did you eat that first mm-hmm say good morning good morning Good morning, everybody. Um, we are just getting up and at him. I am just getting up and at him. Jeremy is a saint and he's been waking up. Um, wow, it's actually really nice out today too. He's been waking up every day with Carter so I can sleep in till like eight when she wakes up at six, which has been amazing because the insomnia has made a firm placehold in my life. I, like last night I was up from 3.30 till 5 a.m. So then from like 5 till 8 this morning, I was like awake. I think I swear like 30 times. I felt like every 10 minutes I was like jolting awake. So yeah, it just like makes me so tired. So I still have been napping every day. Uh, but anyways, good morning. We're up. Carter is eating her breakfast I just showed. And then I'll show you what I've been eating um, because I have been trying to get, now that I'm not sick anymore as much, I've been trying to get a lot more protein in like I was, just like how I was eating before preg getting pregnant. Um, and we're gonna go to the gym today, which is so exciting. I showed in my last video, I believe, um, my gym that I just signed up with has childcare for 30 a month. You can have unlimited childcare. So I'm really hoping I can go like two, three times a week just to stay active now that I'm not feeling so sick. Um, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. And then I think we're, after nap time, we're gonna go get like a little treat. Maybe I'll grab a coffee and then I think she wants to get a little ice cream is what she's been saying. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do today, but good morning. Super simple on my menu and it doesn't look the most appetizing, but just a couple pieces of sourdough, one egg and egg whites, lots of salt because I've been craving salt. And yeah, that's what I've been doing, trying to get like 30 grams of protein in every meal. While I'm making my coffee, I wanted to show these glass jugs. We've been putting our, um, like, are you a little jammer girl? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> We've been putting our milk, I'm gonna try to step over here for a minute. We've been putting our milk and like juice stuff any like drinks that are in plastic jugs, we've been putting them in the glass ones when we get home from the store. Um, just because there's so many articles and science and people testing, just like our common household things like Fairlife milk and those types of things. Um, and there's just so many microplastics in it. And what I read is obviously it comes in the plastic jug and then we put it into the glass one otherwise it's in the plastic jugs for like weeks you know sitting in your fridge while you use it so it leaches plastic um over that time 
still. And so putting it into the glass at least prevents some of those plastics from being in your uh, milk and juice and things like that. So we tried to switch over all to plastic um, or to glass Tupperware as well. Um, it's like the small changes. We also want to get wooden cutting boards so that we don't <clears throat> read something. I don't know if it's true, so don't, I mean, you can fact check me, <laughs> but we read something that you consume like a credit card worth of plastic a year by using a cutting board just because of the microplastics that get into your food every time you cut on it. So that was like, wow, okay. So we've been trying to make little changes and I feel like that's a really simple one that maybe will go a long ways. Um, so I thought I would just share. Hi, mister. What are you doing? Are you gonna eat your lunch out here? <laughs> we just got back from the gym. I didn't film anything because that's, it was just, it was too busy and I'm new there. I just felt uncomfortable, but um, yeah. It's just amazing to have a gym. I'm trying to get Carter's lunch together. A gym with daycare, childcare. I'm like, it's revelational. Is that the word? It's life-changing. I feel like things like that, when you have children, can truly be life-changing for you. So um, anyways, it's 11-ish. We're gonna eat lunch out in the garage because I'm gonna put the picnic blanket down so she can eat her lunch out there and then um, I'm going to vacuum out her car seat because it's absolutely filthy. And then we'll take naps. Yeah. Including me, probably. <laughs> what are you drawing? Are you doing your chalk on there? Yeah, I don't see, but that's horrific. That's horrific? <laughs> Sissy, do you want to go eat your lunch out on the picnic blanket? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Silly goosey. Did you have fun at the gym? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, she's off. Wow, sis, show me what you got. What are you eating for lunch? What you got? Pouch and quesadilla and banana. Toothpick lunch, if you're familiar. Let me get the vacuum. We have. Not that long. It's not gonna be loud, baby. Um, toothpick lunches are just the best thing ever. My mom used to make them for my brother and I, and I feel like because it's an activity, they think it's fun and then they eat more than if you give them like a fork or whatever. So we're doing toothpick lunch today and she is on one. She's already covering her ears in anticipation for the vacuum. You silly girl. <laughs> you silly girl. I'm not even using it yet. We're up from nap time. Well, my skin, oh my gosh, it's so dry. I need to put some lotion on. <laughs> I did not nap. I ended up editing a video and then um, I just got out of the shower and actually dressed for the day, even though it's already like 2.30, but better late than ever. Honestly, being dressed is literally leggings and like some form of a tank top, but I, also, if there's flashing, I apologize. This light above us, Jeremy just ordered new ones. It's been flashing for months. Hi, sissy girl. <coughs> Sissy's having a snacky and watching Give a Mouse a Cookie. We are just getting ready to go to the store to get, what are we getting at the store? Books. Huh? It's books. Oh, books. Oh, um, to get stuff to make a little ice cream. Wow, it was loud. Yeah. Like ice cream cones. Yeah, water. That was your water, baby. But since it's already two and I just got out of the shower, I really, I already know myself. I'm not going to want to do my skincare later. So I'm doing my nighttime skincare now. Just so I'm I can be. Short. I'm feeding. Oh, uh, you want to feed him? Just so I can be done with my skincare now and I'll have to do it later. Now that I can talk freely about pregnancy, oh my gosh, my skin has been so bad. I was on just like the best skin skincare game using all my usual products uh, that I've talked about so many times. My skin was looking so good and then pregnancy just like literally wreaked havoc on my skin and I think it's partially hormones, partially like just the fact that 
like the whole first trimester I was eating salt, carbs, nothing of nutritional value, uh, limited water because I couldn't even stomach that. So I think it was like somewhat self-induced, but I couldn't help it, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you can see like my skin is not thriving at the moment. It's like cystic too. So I try to pop it, which just makes it worse. Um, so yeah, but I can't help it either. And then my hair, oh, this light is going to make me insane. But, um, anyway, my hair too has been really dry. I did just get it done and it's funny. Um, these like front pieces, I don't know if you can see them. They're like a little bit brassy, um, which has literally never happened to me. And I was texting my like girl that does my hair and it just kind of like is a little bit more broke, obviously, which has just never happened to me. And I was texting her and she was like, well, that can happen when you're pregnant, like it lifts differently. So anyway, I got some purple or blue, whatever shampoo to help get rid of the brassiness, which it did help. I did it once, it was worse. So I'm hoping after a few more washes, um, it helps that brassiness go away. Um, but on a better note, I just thought I would chat about some pregnancy stuff that's happy. Um, I am like 13 and a half, almost 14 weeks when I'm filming this. It probably, I'll probably be like 15 weeks. No, like four, I don't know. Whenever I post it, I'll be further along. She's using my blow dryer as a microphone. But um, I have already been feeling the baby. I am super excited about it. Hi, baby girl. I'm showing sooner than my first pregnancy. And I'm feeling baby, baby move. Baby. Hey, baby. You know where the baby is, huh? Which is crazy. So on ultrasound from my miscarriage and like when I was back in high school, I had an ultrasound done for um, like ovarian pain. And it was noted I have an anterior uterus. So it like tilts forward, I think is what that is. Um, as opposed to like posterior where it tilts back or where it's just sitting neutral. So I read online that that can cause you to show sooner and feel the baby sooner. So yeah, cause I know sometimes people don't even feel baby move to like 16 to 18 weeks, but I have been feeling baby, like I was at the gym today and I was doing glute bridges and I was like, oh my gosh, there is so much movement. And I haven't, Usually when I feel baby move, it's when I'm in bed, like fully still paying attention. Is there movement? And I'll feel that little kind of bubbly, fluttery feeling. This was like somersaults. I don't even know. Um, I think it was the position I was in too. Um, you ready to go, baby? But yeah, totally feeling baby move. Just absolutely wild, uh, which is just so exciting because Things are just progressing right along. I don't have my next appointment till 16 weeks, so we're still a few weeks away from that, but it's just nice having some of those more exciting things happen. I'm not just on my deathbed anymore and I can talk about it and be excited. I'm definitely showing too. I'll just show you. Might as well. I want to document it for my future self. Totally showing. So sweet. Has not surpassed the booty yet, but we're definitely showing. Yeah, it's just really exciting to be showing and just feeling some movement having my belly get bigger. I love it. I, I hated being pregnant with Carter. I felt so alien. She was my first pregnancy, obviously. And I just felt like it felt alien like to me. It did not feel sweet. It did not feel special. I was not a good pregnant girl. I just felt so strange. It just, everything was so strange to me. This time around, I'm like, everything just feels special. I understand what's going on. I know the like fruition of pregnancy is a beautiful little one like I already have. And so because I already know that, it's like I can imagine what the baby's doing, what they look like. It's a real baby in there, you know. And I'm trying really hard because we do know the gender, which I will be showing probably right around when this comes out. But um, I'm trying not to say what baby is. So um Anyways, yeah, it's just, it's just special. I wanted to just talk about it for a little bit just because 
I can talk about it now, so why not? But um, yeah, I we're just really excited and that's that. I just did my skincare. All I've been really doing is moisturizer, putting some of this azelaic acid prescription 15% on to help with my acne. But what can you do? There's not, that's like the only thing you can really do in pregnancy besides I think like a specific antibiotic, which I'm not gonna do. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that starts kind of clearing up now that my hormones are like, you know, kind of balancing out and I'm going into the second trimester and all that. I will be in the second trimester by the time you see this. So hopefully things are getting better from here on out. But anyways, hey, you, hey, you, <laughs> are you ready to go to the store? See, we're going to get ice cream cones. Get me down. Get you down. Okay. We're going to go get ice cream and ice cream cones to make our own. And then I think I'm going to go to Pete's, grab some decaf to make a, um, like ice latte with strawberry cold foam. We have strawberry extract. So yeah, we're going to see what all we get up to. Maybe do ice cream cones and the iced coffee and call it a day. Jeremy will be off by then. But anyways, that's what we're doing. Can you hold this for me? While I do your piggy. We gotta do one pony because your hair is so crazy, girl. Oh, no. Mm. We'll leave your little mm. bangies out. What? What's your? What's your feel? What flavor of ice cream are you gonna get? I'm pink. You hear that on there? You're gonna get a pink one. What flavor should mama get? Um, black. Black? Black? I don't know if they have black ice cream. They always have black ice cream at the shop. Oh, they do? Mm. Is it licorice flavor? No, it's pink. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <gasps> Down came the rain and what did it do? Wash the spider out. Out came the sun <laughs> and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider <laughs> went up the side again. Woohoo! Let's go! Come on, let's go find the, the cones. Come on. That's not water, that's vinegar. Can you clean in? Wow. Secured a pouch and strawberry. Ice cream, trying to find the cones. Yay. Okay, let me get your ice cream in a bowl and your sprinkles. Cool. What color sprinkles do you want? I want black. Black? We have blue or pink? We did have blue. Yeah, do you want me to, want me to show them to you? Yeah. Okay. Well, a little bit of a fail because we didn't go to the store and get decaf. She had other plans, and I could not find cones, so we're just gonna do it in a bowl okay. with some sprinkles. Okay. Do you want Boo. these ones? Yeah. These ones are perfect. They're not my perfect. They're perfect because they're pink, just like your ice cream. So she got what? What kind did you get? What flavor? Um, nobody. Strawberry. But yeah, so we didn't go to Pete's. Uh -huh. And that's okay. We'll maybe we'll try that tomorrow. Today's activity. Okay, we've got two two big scoops. Two big scoops. Mm. That's a big scooper. Oh, that's good. Hagen Dazs is so good. Yeah. He's saying Hagen Dazs ice cream. Try to go Dicky. I can do it. Okay, but just a little. That's that's your one. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Okay. You know, no, Mama. I'm not gonna have any. I'm gonna eat a snack while you eat your ice creamy. What do you think? Good. It's good.
What's it taste like? Good. Don't bite me. Okay, let me see. You show mama? Ooh, sprinkles. Say, cheesy sauce. <laughs> Taste test. Is it delicious? Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. It's Friday, which I'm so excited. This week has flown by. Um, and we are heading to the gym. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna go for like a half hour. Um, three times this week, which I'm really, really proud of myself. I'm just gonna go for like a half hour just to walk, which will just be really nice. Um, Carter loves it there. We're gonna run some errands after, go to Target, drop off some uh, UPS, like Amazon returns. Um, but yeah, I, I am 14 weeks tomorrow. And so second trimester, all that. And this morning I had the most strongest trigger warning of talking about vomiting. I had the strongest urge to puke. I have not once this pregnancy vomited. I just, in the first trimester, constantly felt like I was going to, which was lovely to deal with. But um, yeah, I just like was all fine. Everything was fine and dandy. We were getting ready to go. And I literally, I told Jeremy, I'm like, I need you to just like take over for a minute because I need to just go sit in the bathroom because I swear I, I am going to puke today. And then it just went away. I'm like, okay so a little bit of nausea still but it's manageable so yeah it was just bizarre to say the least so anyways we're gonna go to the gym and then get on with the rest of our day are you gonna go play at the gym yeah what are you gonna play <gasps> cars and skateboards are you gonna color again yeah. okay say let's go go say let's hit it hit it everybody let's hit it everybody also yeah. Really quickly, I just have to say it's the cutest thing ever. We pray before we eat our meals and she'll tell us when we sit down at the table, she'll say, let's pray. So then we pray and as soon as we say amen, she says, she claps her hands and she goes, now let's eat. Is that what you do? Yeah. That's what she does. It's so cute. Maybe I'll try to get it on video. I eat. You say, let's eat. Maybe I'll try to get it on video for like lunch or dinner if I can remember. But anyways, we're going to the gym. We'll take you along for the rest of our day. Okay, we are up from nap time. We ended up just coming straight home, didn't run errands, didn't get anything done. We came home and took a nap. Um, so we're up from that. I showered and me. you found her. And now she's just needing some attention. So I think we're actually just gonna close out the video here and I'll start up maybe tomorrow. I'll start up for like a weekend vlog. I don't know, but um, anyways, yes, we're gonna close it out here because I have so much stuff I need to get done that's boring. I'm not going to video um, because I don't think anybody wants to watch me make my bed. So. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed just a few days in my life as a stay-at-home mom. Hopefully being pregnant will not be my whole personality, but it probably will. So just forewarning, there's probably gonna be a lot of pregnancy content now that it's out and I can talk about it and just be like really relatable in that aspect. So anyways, big thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you next time. Bye.